guys so uh, in part one we read out the problem statement and figure out this basic structure of a program in part two we are gonna be working on our database so exactly how our database is gonna look so uh, right off the bat we have two users admin and a normal user we need to store data in each of them in admin we don't require that much we just need to keep the username and password but for a user we'll be storing name phone number address username and password next up uh, we have to avail ticket booking system so for that we need to create a table for okay something happened anyways for admin to handle their movies we'll have to create a table cinema where they'll be showing screening the movies so cinema will come with its own features cinema id uh, seating capacity and what else location next up in cinemas we will be showing movies so movies is another thing we need to create table about movies uh, movie id name generate what else rating duration synopsis these are the contents of movie table next up uh, we have cinema movie uh, another thing that we need to create is show time so movies will have their definite show times right so show time is the another table that we need to create in which we'll take movie id and cinema id as our foreign key keep in mind uh, we are trying to keep this project as basic as possible so we aren't considering time as a thing in this entire project so show time just movie id and cinema id would be the foreign key no time timings of that show mm, just to keep it simple you know next up final thing we'll have ticket now ticket will be booked by user as well as admin if it's booked by admin they'll have to mention the user id user user doesn't need to mention any id they'll just have to mention the number of seats and the show time uh, that they are picking and that's it so these are the six tables that we'll be needing for our project now don't worry this is very just plain thingy i've written it down in a proper structure so this is what uh, okay if my zoom supports me okay yeah it did all right so this is what we want it to look like right come on <laughs> admin table admin id name which would be unique password which would be not null. similarly user user id would be the primary key name phone number address username password next up we have ticket ticket id user id user id is the foreign key again show time is the foreign key over here the selected seats of the user and the payment status next up another table is movie id movie in which we have movie id name title genre rating duration synopsis i know name title same thing we'll see let's go ahead uh, cinema cinema id seating capacity location and the last thing show time table so there's a level of hierarchy of how you are supposed to make this table for example show time has dependence on movie id and cinema id so you need to create the movie id movie table and cinema id that is cinema table first before you are able to create showtime id cinema id doesn't have any depend dep um, cinema doesn't have any dependencies so we can directly create it similarly for movies it doesn't have any dependencies ticket has dependencies we have to create it after showtime table user id users don't have any dependency and admin doesn't have any dependency so i'll prepare the code sql code for creating these tables and i'll show you show it to you all right guys uh, so i have prepared the sql statements that we are going to need to create our tables 
so uh, just a brief overview we'll be doing this project on java and mysql uh, we'll be using jdbc driver that is java database connectivity driver you'll have to install it separately uh, you can watch bunch of videos on youtube on how to do that and you will require mysql as well so let's move on you will have to run these statements in its order itself so you will have to create user user table first because if you try to create booking table over here it references user id as a foreign key from users table so it will throw you an error that no users table found so you'll have to create it in this order only users then admin means user admin theater and movie these four tables are independent tables they don't reference any foreign key meanwhile show times and booking have foreign key in them that's why we have to prepare this movies and theaters table first after that we can prepare those tables all right so let's create these tables i'll be that's our users table then next up we have our admin table next up we have theaters so i found that theaters would be a more appropriate word rather than cinema so i changed it to theater next up we have movies movies i removed the name uh, column because name title the same thing next up we have show times over here you can see show time id movie id theater id and show time that is date time now like show time i have put the date time function but we'll be using it just for the time not for the date because uh, if we try to figure out the date uh, the pro project will become a bit complex next up finally booking table now again you don't need to worry about these create statements i'll be putting this notepad uh, on my github repository for which i'll be providing the link in my description so yeah that's it for our database now we can just go ahead and type show tables in our mysql client and see that we have our six tables over here you can go ahead and check out the structure of these tables by typing in desk admin or whatever table you want to check the structure in so over here we have admin tables structure and we have three columns admin id which is a primary key and auto increment username password yeah that's it guys see you in part three